I? Who's I handsome devil wearing the tight blue jeans with his hair slick back? He looks like he might be wanting to cast a cry, baby. No, 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 no. He might. Stay clear, y'all. Stay clear. He might be one of them. One of them dang old tunnel snakes. You know what I'm saying? It's dangerous. That sweet flame and all that. <laughs> You're all dumb as shit. He ain't no that. He, he ain't no tunnel snake. He ain't no grease. He ain't no buddy from the crybaby cast. He's the... Give it up for the mouth hammer and stuff, Smith. Adrian, gotta take the video down, cause Google Plus is a fucking dictator, like Fidel Castro. Oh, shit. Alright, so, ladies and gentlemen, the hammer and aerosol Smith is here to show you guys how I lubricate and clean. The Benelli M3 Super 90 Spring Powered Multi Shot Airsoft Shotgun. Is that a country song or am I like. What? Or an indie song? Like, am I imagining it? Like, how long is that title? I usually just call it the Benelli M3. But I'm thinking about calling it Tyra. I'm serious. I name a lot of my guns. I don't know how this one doesn't have a name. It's like six or seven years old. It's almost as old as Doris. Doris! Where are you? Where are my cigarettes? I knocked over a bunch of crap just to get to you. Yeah. Anyhow. Right. Well, let's just hop to it because, you know, even though it's very simple to lubricate and clean this gun, I'm going to waste ten minutes of your life. First of which, the last... I cannot stress this enough. The last thing... The last step you're going to do for this gun is lubricate each of the ru uh, the rubberized sections. The, the pump here, the pump grip, the pistol grip, and the buttstock. Because they are rubber, eventually they will dry out, and they will crack, they'll get rough, and they'll just get ruined. So you gotta hydrate them every now and then to make sure they, they keep their rubberization, they stay nice. Anyways, let's move on. Um, first thing you're going to want to do, first step, make sure it's empty. Well, there's a shell in here. Okay, so we're going to remove that shell. The shell's empty. Is the gun empty? We don't know. Pick up the gun, finger out of the trigger guard, make sure it's on safe. It's on safe. Okay, go to rack the, the pump here. There's give. See that? Which means it's not cocked. If there is no give, I suggest you point the gun in a safe safe direction, take the gun off safe, pull the trigger, make sure it's clear. And then put the gun on safe, rack the slide action, make sure there's give, and then proceed. Right, so there's not many areas here you need to lubricate manually. We're going to be looking at the trigger, we're going to be looking at the mag release, and we're going to be looking at the slide action. At the end, we're going to deal with the barrel. Well, there's three inner barrels, and each inner barrel has their own hop rubber. So, right, um, we're going to, here we go, the trigger. Now, you take a Q-tip, and I'm going to take this, uh, the Laster, which I've been using lately, uh, it's been tested, so I know it works, and we're going to lubricate around the trigger. See the trigger? Boom! Very easy to point out. If you don't know where the trigger is on a gun, then maybe you shouldn't be handling the one. Make sure it's on safe. Aha! Just got you there. You gotta be sure. And then lubricate around it. Now, you'll see that, it, that there's a there's a gap right here. That's how you can get to the internals. Now this gun's kind of like a turtle. Okay. Very similar to the Mazda I have. The Mazda C96 M712. 
Yeah, it's not a low back. It's got a very, very nice protective shell. Protects all the vital areas. Take your spray lubricant that is trusted uh, and it's been proved. But with the straw, because it's got precision, and you spray into the little crevice in front of the trigger there. Just a little bit. Boom. Just a little bit. Like you're telling a secret. Like it's just like, it's just like, pssst. And then that's it. Alright, so that's good. Now you're going to want to tilt the gun. So that way the lubricant can get everywhere it needs to go. Next step. We're going to deal with the, uh, the mag release here. Boom. There's the mag release. We're going to lubricate that a little bit. Now, regardless of what terrain you live in, you're going to want to lubricate that. Because it is out in the open. And, uh, there, you know, you might get debris in there. And don't worry about access lubricant. Because obviously, at the end, after you wait for the rubberized parts to dry, you're going to want to wait for them to dry. Then you wipe off all the access lubricant everywhere. To be clear. Um... Right, so we got that taken care of. There is a little section here. I don't know if you guys... You barely ever have to lubricate that because if this section here is lubricated, that would be fine. So don't worry about that. That's just a little clip that holds the shell in place. Um, by the, uh, the, the false brass side. Right, moving on. Let's be swift. Losing daylight here. Right. So now you hold the gun like so. Or any way you want. Take lubricant. And you go into rails here. There's rails. See it? Mine are silver. Yours may be black. But there are rails there. And you lubricate those metallic rails. You make sure they're well lubricated. Okay. Mine are a different color because I had sand in there. And you guys know me. I'm the hammer airsoft smith. I gotta make sure things are working at their prime. I, I gotta I gotta mature my airsoft guns before they're ready to. So that way they're ready to conquer and take names. Right, so that's lubricated. You can also quickly you can also get in more to the to the grip here with a Q tip. Those the little fibers that come off these Q-tips, they're not going to hurt anything. They don't hurt the real steel versions are not going to hurt Airsoft. It's just little tiny fibers. Whatever. Anyways, moving on. Pump the gun. Make sure it's unsafe. Pump the gun. And lock the slide action in place. Now mine's chrome. Uh, or silver. I scratched the paint off for my own reasons. Now you're going to lubricate that area. I'm doing this a little rough here for video purposes. It's already lubricated. But you lubricate that area and then you rack it like so to make sure the lubricant is getting all in here. Okay? And then all in here. Okay? And then, you know, just be safe, you keep it back because you can't pull the trigger. It's double safety. The slide's already pumped. Now we're going to work on the barrel. I know it's getting kind of dark in here, I'm losing daylight, or at least it appears to be that way for me. Just, there's three inner barrels, three hob rubbers in this gun, okay? And they go like this. There's one, okay, if you're looking at the front side, okay? Front side is back here. There's one up top, two on the bottom. You want them to feel around there. You can take a flashlight if you're that, you know, if you're that fearless. And just, you know, like any other inner barrel, gently do what you gotta do, you know. Get in, get out, do your thing, alright? Again, I already pre cleaned the gun for video purposes. There's that. Slide forward, make sure it's on safe, dry fire, alright? There you have it, folks. Your uh, Benel M3 Super 90 uh, Screen Power Multi Shot Shotgun is fully lubricated, cleaned, and it's raring to go.